Today, we're talking about tobramycin ointment, which is used to treat eye infections. Tobramycin belongs to a class of drugs called aminoglycoside antibiotics, and it works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It's important to note that this medication treats only bacterial eye infections, not other types of eye infections. Using this antibiotic unnecessarily or overusing it can lead to decreased effectiveness. The recommended dosage and timing for using tobramycin ointment should be determined by your healthcare provider. Be sure to follow their instructions carefully for the best results. When using tobramycin ointment, it's important not to wear contact lenses. If you do wear them, be sure to sterilize them according to the manufacturer's directions and consult your doctor before using them. To apply the ointment to the affected eyes, start by washing your hands. Be careful not to touch the tube tip or let it touch your eye to avoid contamination. Tilt your head back, look upward, and pull down your lower eyelid to create a pouch. Squeeze a half an inch strip of ointment into the pouch, then close your eyes for one to two minutes, rolling your eyeball in all directions to spread the medication. Avoid blinking or rubbing your eye. If directed, repeat these steps for your other eye. Wipe the tip of the ointment tube with a clean tissue before recapping it. If you are using other eye medications, such as drops or other ointments, wait at least 5 to 10 minutes before applying tobramycin ointment. Use eye drops before eye ointments to allow the drops to enter the eye. It's important to use this medication regularly at the same times each day to get the most benefit from it. Continue using it for the full time prescribed, even if symptoms disappear after a few days. Stopping the medication too early may result in a return of the infection. If your condition lasts or gets worse, be sure to inform your doctor. Some common side effects of using tobramycin ointment may include blurred vision, tearing, eye redness, discomfort, or eyelid itching slash swelling. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist right away. It's important to note that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. While many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects, prolonged or repeated use may lead to a new fungal eye infection. It's crucial to use it for no longer than prescribed and to contact your doctor if you notice any new or worsening symptoms. Although rare, a very serious allergic reaction to tobramycin ointment may occur. Seek immediate medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed above. If you are in the US, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report them to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using tobramycin ointment, Make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to tobramycin or other aminoglycosides. It's important to mention any other allergies you may have, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other issues. Also, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have any other eye problems. After applying this medication, your vision may become temporarily blurred or unstable, so it's best to avoid activities that require clear vision, such as driving or using machinery, until your vision has returned to normal. If you are pregnant, tobramycin ointment should only be used when clearly needed. Be sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is not known if tobramycin passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before using this medication if you are breastfeeding. Remember to always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before using any medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when using tobramycin ointment. This could affect how well your medications work or increase your risk of experiencing serious side effects. It's a good idea to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this list with your doctor and pharmacist. Never start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Always consult with your healthcare professional before making any changes to your medication routine. 
If someone accidentally swallows tobermycin ointment, it can be harmful. If they have serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 or a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Always keep this medication out of reach of children and pets to prevent accidental ingestion. This medication is only for your specific condition and should not be shared with others. Make sure to discard any remaining medication after you have finished your treatment. Do not save it for a future infection unless instructed by your doctor. If you happen to forget a dose of tobermycin ointment, just use it as soon as you remember. But if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Don't try to make up for the missed dose by using extra. The tobermycin ointment should be stored at temperatures between 46 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 to 27 degrees Celsius, away from light and moisture. It should not be stored in the bathroom and should be kept out of reach of children and pets. When the product is expired or no longer needed, it should be properly discarded, following the instructions of a pharmacist or local waste disposal company. It is important not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.